guys, it's Lee, and I'm back today with another Dollar Tree haul. And there goes Evie, still in her little cone. Um, she ended up having a ruptured anal gland, and she's on her third round of antibiotics to try to get rid of it. So, <laughs> before anybody says anything about this being a Dollar Tree haul, this is stuff I've had for a while. I have been kind of, I should have filmed it all at once, it would have made my life easier. But I didn't. Um, anyway, so now I'm going to get these bags out of my office. I'm going to show you everything I picked up. I am not currently going to the Dollar Tree. If we need something, I might. But at this point, there really isn't anything we need that I can get from the Dollar Tree. And if I do go into the Dollar Tree for essentials, I'll look around. But like I said, right now, I don't have any um, plans to go in. So let me show you what I have left in these bags and I'm going to get Evie out of here so that I can do this otherwise she is going to try to be my helper and just kind of get in the way. All right so I'll be right back. Okay so I probably should have organized the stuff but I did not. It is still in the bags so I'm just going to grab bags and show you what is in them. The first bag has toilet paper. My store had so much toilet paper, or this particular store, had so much toilet paper, I was shocked actually. Uh, they had a limit of four packs per person, so I went ahead and got four because I can always run some over to my son's house if he needs it. Um, whoops. Yeah, he just found out he's been furloughed for two weeks, which kind of sucks. I'm gonna grab these out of the other bag. He'll be all right, if that's the worst thing that happens, he'll be fine. So the next thing I picked up, it was actually in the bag with two of the packs of toilet paper, toilet paper was this Golding Farms Honey Mustard Dipping Sauce. And it is 12 ounces. It says gluten and cholesterol free. I did look on the back and as far as I can tell, someone correct me if I'm wrong, this is from the USA. It doesn't say that any of the ingredients come from another country that I can find. Anyway, I picked up two of these. And I also picked up one of the Golden Spicy Brown Mustard, only because I can't remember if we have some, like an extra bottle or not. I like to at least keep one extra bottle of these things on hand. So yeah, this also is 12 fluid ounces. I'll put the Goldens over here. So before I go any farther, I want to share with you a couple of cards that I received and this is way out of order, I know, but I just wanted to make sure to include them and I don't know if you can hear it, but the wind is crazy here today. So the first card I got was from, it says Queen's Life, I'm going to open this up. thinking of you. That is so pretty. I love that card. That's beautiful. Oh, and inside. <laughs> Let's talk, talk about how much I like you. A pink heart sticker. Some of these little stickers. Sorry, they're stuck together. So cute. And this, it says, you are fantastic. I don't know if you can see it. Very cute. And I do want to apologize. That's a baby rat. Um, I do want to apologize for not going to the post office earlier. I haven't been, I hadn't been in so long. What is the, the date on the postmark for this was 11 March. So I, I am so sorry, so sorry. Anyway, this says, hello Lee. I always watch your videos. Thank you so much for sharing. I hope we can be YouTube friends. Of course we can. <laughs> I also have a YouTube page, it's Queen's Life. So I will leave her linked down in the description box below. So go check her out if you haven't already. So pretty. And the next card I got is from Shantae Wright out of North Carolina. I forgot to say Queen's Life is from New Jersey. Easter time is here. This is beautiful. That is so pretty. Oh, more stickers. Everybody knows my obsession with stickers. It's crazy, but I love stickers. 
It says, have a decorated egg, a jelly bean or two, but mostly have a happy heart this Easter all day through. Thank you so much, you guys, for sending these cards. It's so sweet of you. And again, I apologize for taking so long to show them on my channel. I just haven't been out to the post office in a long time. So I just noticed that little sticker says thumbs up. I don't know if you can see that, but that is too cute. All right, so now the chihuahuas are barking in the other room. The wind is blowing and the baby rats are playing. So when I call them baby rats, they're, they're practically grown, but I still will always call them babies. So they're not itty bitty babies. And a lot of people ask if they can see them. Not sure if I'll show them on this channel, but uh, they are over on my Instagram page, which is linked down in the description box below. There are a few pictures of them and they're playing and they're funny. Anyway. I grabbed two more boxes of the Barilla Penne Pasta. These are one pound boxes, which I've said it before, but in our Walmart, they are $1.28 a box. So a dollar is a good deal. So I just picked up two because honestly, we are stocked up on pasta. I mean, this I bought, I don't know how many weeks ago. And yeah, we still have plenty. So I don't need to buy any pasta for a while. Ah, oh, geez. And then I found a box of elbows in the bag as well. So we are good, good on pasta. Next, I found these Nestle's Toll House Disney Frozen 2 Blue and White Swirled Vanilla Morsels. These are 10 ounce bags, and that is a really good deal. I only picked up two. Um, that is a really good deal for chips. I almost said chocolate chips, but I guess they're vanilla chips. They're vanilla chips. I also found this Red Lobster signature seafood seasoning and it is 2.3 ounces now my husband is a maryland boy and he really only likes old bay but i thought you know we could open this up give it a smell test and see if it smells like old bay if not we will find something else to use it on or i will give it away and then i found this longhorn steakhouse grill seasoning it says signature blend on it and it is two and a half ounces I grabbed two of these. It's always nice when you can find name brand products at the Dollar Tree. And I have no idea what's in this. Does it say? Salt, pepper, garlic powder, red chili pepper, paprika, onion powder, cumin seeds, and canola oil. So there you go. Sounds good. I picked up three more of these fresh and clean laundry detergent pods. I use these for my towels and I was out. So I just picked up three more packs of those. I forgot to mention there are 10 in each pack. So that should last me a little while. Next, I found this by the register and I just decided to pick it up. It is a small sewing kit. I'm gonna leave this in my car just in case we need it while we're out and about. Not that we need that kind of stuff very often, but you never know. Next, I found some flower sack towels. This one says, eat well, live simply, sorry, laugh often, and it's got a grill theme. There's some fire, some flames back here. Then there's this one, I love you from my head to my toes, or tomatoes, I don't know why I said it so weird. And it has polka dots on the back. Next, I found this one that says, shake it off with salt and pepper. And this just has gray stripes on the back. And then there's this one that says, my favorite thing to do at home is cook out. And it has polka dots. Next, I found this Salt Range Himalayan Pink Salt Bath Salt. <laughs> and it says 100% naturally pure. It's a one pound bag. I just picked up one of these to try out, um, you know, for myself. I like taking baths, so I thought that would be nice. Next, I found these Spa Naturals Luxury Collection Bath Soak in Moisturizing Avocado Oil. That sounds really nice. So I picked up two of these, and these are each one pound as well, and the Chihuahuas are losing their minds. <laughs> We are going through hand soap like crazy, like probably everyone is. And the store had these. 
These are the Soft Soap Antibacterial Hand Soap with Moisturizers in five and a half ounces each. They were allowing people to buy two, so I bought two. I picked up one more of these Aromatherapy April Bath and Shower Slumber Soothing Lavender Chamomile Body Wash and Foaming Wash. Next, I picked up one of these notepads that I did not need, but it was cute. I love the flowers on it. It is magnetic. They had several in this collection and I actually forgot to take pictures. All the pictures that I've had from the last month were in um, Monday's, I think it was Monday's video. It's a walkthrough. I will try to remember to put that up in the I cards, but you can just click on my name under the video and you'll find it. So, but I didn't take pictures of the other ones in this collection, but this is the one I liked and I think it's really pretty. Next, I picked up this soft brown Revlon Colorstay Brow Mousse. Styles for a fuller, softly defined look. So I picked up one of those for myself. And then one of these brows on and on. It's by Almay and it says long lasting color. New way to do brows. So I just grabbed one of these to try. And then I bought a bunch of fun blind bags or blind bags and blind boxes. My daughter has already claimed them. She wants to open them and she's 26. But uh, yeah, I always buy my kids blind bags and blind boxes for Christmas and they just love them. Anyway, so the first ones I picked up are these Mini Boos Series 2. It says collectibles that are hand painted and these are the options on the back. So I grabbed four of those. I got one with each color of the question marks they had at the store. There were a ton of them. There were like two boxes. And then I found the Series 3. And these are the ones. There's a chaser on there. Kind of hoping it's a pig and it's in one of these boxes. But I don't know. Could be anything, I suppose. So I grabbed four of these as well. One of each of the color boxes they had. They had an orange, pink, blue, and purple. And then I picked up two of the Fingerlings Minis. It says 48 characters. Um, it's Series 3, I guess. And yeah, that's what it looks like on the back. So I just picked up two of these. My daughter will open those as well. And whenever she gets around to it, I will try. I can't guarantee. But I'll try to remember to post a picture over on Instagram of what was in the boxes. And the last item I found, I ended up buying five of. And I bought five of them because I bought one for me, one for my husband, and one for each of my three kids. And before you say anything, they had boxes of them in the store, like boxes. So no need to get after me about it. There were plenty. Here it is. It's the Sunbeam Flexible LED Desk Lamp. It says no bulbs to replace. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's an amazing find for the Dollar Tree. I don't have any idea how much these go for in other stores or rent for in other stores if they're, um, you know, closeouts. But I bought two in the white, one for me and one for my daughter in white. Whoops. Well, it looks the same. And then for the boys and my husband, I bought them in black. And the store I was in, they're probably gone now because this was weeks ago, but they had like boxes and boxes of these things. So I did not feel bad at all for buying five of them. I just told a small little white lie. That wasn't the last item. I turned around and saw these. It's just, um, whoops, these banner art paper. I picked up two in the wood grain because I thought they might make a nice background for something at some point. And if nothing else, they'll make nice wrapping paper. It's kind of thick. So yeah, I grabbed two of these. So that is everything I picked up. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. You can also find me over on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching.
Bye.